Hi everyone, welcome to Breath Based. I'm Michael. Today we're gonna be doing a very basic Qigong practice for your neck, your shoulders, and your back. This practice will be about 15 to 30 minutes, uh, depending on how things go. This is my first time shooting in Guatemala. I'm in uh, Lake, a or I'm on Lake Atitlan right now in a little town called Javelito. And we'll just see how things go. I might end things sooner depending on background noise, there's some people around me right now uh, doing some work, and we'll just see how things go. If that happens, I'll close things down in about two or three minutes, and we'll call it there. But if you have any type of neck or shoulder things going on, or your back issues, this practice is for you. So with that, let's get started with our basic stance. You're going to go feet about hip width distance apart. <clears throat> and you're just going to be nice and loose when you start out. So finding this position, you're going to just start to bounce a little bit. So you put bend at your knees and you just try and sense your heels, shift the weight back to the heels, and you're just bouncing up and down. The goal here is just to be loose. Notice my hands by my sides are pretty loose. Uh, I recommend if you do have any serious uh, issues with your back um, that you just really be nice and easy and just bounce straight up and down. You have to excuse the background noise here. I'm in a Mayan village and about twice a day they have an announcement where they kind of call out different things that are happening in the village, maybe families that are need to talk to each other. It's kind of a cool thing, but it's definitely loud. So excuse the background noise. Keep bouncing here. Nice and easy. Bounce up and down. Relax those shoulders down your back. Lengthen through your neck. And this is a great time too to just think about your intention for your practice. Maybe it's just to heal your body. Maybe it's to find connection to your higher purpose. This is also a great time to call in your higher beings, whether that's angels or what you might call God or source, saints, anybody that you need support from, Jesus, Buddha, whoever you want to call in for support. Do that right now. Also, as you're doing this, imagine that any energy that you don't need is transferring from your body down into the earth, and the earth is recycling it. You can also imagine that heaven is supporting you, and that any energy that the heavens need, or the sky needs, the universe needs, are being sent up to it. And relax. So now just sense your body. Feet are still about shoulder width distance apart. Sense your heels, put bend at your knees, relax your shoulder blades down your back. Lengthen through your spine, getting just maybe a few millimeters taller. Try and relax your bottom. If you're holding on tightly to anything, like you're squeezing your butt, try and relax your glutes a little bit, your bottom. And this space here, where we're in, just standing, hands by the sides, trying to get into a nice posture. This is Wu Ji stance. And this stance is meant to help us enter into connection to the opposites, that yin and yang opposite. And also helping us to enter into oneness. So it's kind of both those things. And really, after having bounced and created this movement, we want to just sense energy here. Sense this oneness. Sense these polar opposites. And bringing them together. You don't feel any body sensations. Another thing to focus on here is just your intention. The mind leads energy or chi, chi and spirit, 
also connect. Now I recommend that you stay in this posture whenever you're doing your own practice for as long as you need to in order to just get the mind to calm down. And if you can't get the mind to calm down, you can just go back into a series of bouncing and maybe even just doing some basic stretches or whatever to calm the mind down. You can also just focus on the breath and the base of your nostrils and just giving the mind something to focus on. The mind always needs something to focus on so that you can lead energy in that direction. So the mind is number one and then the breath also helps with this to calm you down and the breath can really basically the breath is what you have control over you don't really have control over the mind but you can access affecting the mind through the breath <clears throat> so now from here you're going to start by raising your arms up and sinking back and then standing back up and we're going to reverse this in a little bit, but for now, this is how we're going to do it. You're going to exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. And there's various ways to breathe. There's no right or wrong way. And Whenever you're starting a practice, really trying to intuit what feels right for you is great. The key really is just to try and match your breaths with your breath with the movement whenever you're doing this practice, yoga, qigong. Now as you're doing this, imagine that you're clearing out the energy in front of you with your fingers. You're breaking through any type of stagnant energy that you don't need. Just three more here. Sink back to those heels. If you have knee pain, maybe just go down a little bit less. Just go down as far as you can to where you can feel your heels and relax. <clears throat> now we're gonna reverse the breath and just see if you notice anything. See if you notice any differences for you. And that's the key with Qigong is really just to feel what you feel and to sense everything, to really feel energy and to just get in touch with this. Eventually we wanna be able to channel this energy with our mind and just to send it through our body into other organs and spaces um, that maybe need a little extra support, but when we start out with a practice, number one is just to sense that energy. So now, reversing that posture, you're going to exhale, sink back to your heels. Inhale as you come up, palms face up. Come up to about shoulder height. Exhale, again, if you feel any knee pain, just go down a little bit. You don't need to go very far. Just listen to your body. I know that sounds kind of cheesy, but... It's very true, that's, a, that's the biggest piece of the puzzle with Qigong is to just really trust yourself to build that inner intuition to create this energy in your body, longevity, even striving possibly or non-striving for Buddhahood or uh, enlightened state of being where we can connect to this universal source, really trusting everything, trusting life, trusting our circumstances, and just being okay wherever we are, which is not always an easy thing to do, but that's one of the things that this practice can bring. And we try and move this practice into the outer parts of our life, into our eating habits, speaking habits, living habits, whatever those might be, and just really trying to connect with nature, connect with our true nature. Just three more here, again, sinking back to those heels. One of the um, Taoist, really kind of creators, Lao Tzu, 
speaks of breathing through your heels. And that's something that I've really tried to play around with, is just really sensing the heels, breathing in through the heels, even though in Chinese medicine there's a, a point on the forefront of your foot, that's near the front part of your foot that they say the energy comes in from, but I personally really feel the energy through my heels. Last one, exhaling, and relax. Now just notice the effects. So that's a really big piece of Qigong practice is just to note the effects of your practice. Just laterals now, side to side. Slight bend at your knees and just moving at a rate that's comfortable to you. This is really good for your spine, you can also add a little bit of a neck lateral. Just be very gentle. Be super easy with yourself. Reaching down the sides of your legs. Inhaling to lengthen, exhaling to reach down. Again, letting that neck tilt to the side. This is that neck posture. Even though that last exercise of up and down maybe didn't seem like we were working on our neck or our shoulders, it really helps us to sense space, that last exercise that we did, and really retraining our sense of space. It helps our brain, it helps our posture. And when we have better posture, and our brain can sense space better, that's where we can start to release our neck muscles, or release muscles that we don't need to be using for compensation patterns. Sometimes maybe we even use our jaw and we grit our teeth to try and find stability. If you can, throughout the rest of your practice too, try and keep your tongue on the roof of your mouth and this can kind of balance out the back body energy with the front body energy. This conception vessel on the front of our bodies and governing vessel through our spine on the back of our body connects those two energies and helps us kind of close the circuit on our energy bodies. Now from here, we're just gonna do a nice, easy three-way neck stretch. You're gonna put your hands on your upper chest and you're gonna exhale to look up. Inhale back down. Relax those shoulders down your back. Really try and think about as you roll the shoulder blades back, instead of popping your chest forward like this, just think about sensing those heels. So shifting weight from here, back, rolling the shoulder blades down just nice and easy and bringing the shoulder blades in towards each other. Exhaling up, inhaling down, just six of these. This is a really nice one to do. You can add some vision into it too and just looking up. And this, the hands are here so that you can slightly pull on the chest. And just get a little bit of fascial movement, a little bit of muscle stretching. Great. Now laterals, hands by the sides. You're just gonna exhale to the right or to your left. Whichever one, it doesn't matter. We're doing six each way, so you'll balance out. And this is a great time to just call your intention back in. Maybe your intention was just to get your neck and back opened up. Maybe it's to find your higher purpose. Maybe it's just to do this to honor yourself, to be grounded for the day. Call that in right now. One more each way. Matching your breath with your movement too if you can. If you can chew gum and call your intention in at the same time, do it. Great. Now, for the third one, this is just a neck twist. So this is three parts, 
right? So we did up, down, laterals, side to side, and now we're gonna do twists. So you're just gonna exhale, and we're gonna add a little bit of rotation in with this. Be very, very gentle. And try and really lengthen through the spine. Sense those heels. Sometimes what can help too is if you're really feeling um, back and neck pain, or excuse me, in back or neck issues, this is not to treat any type of pain. I am not a physical therapist. Um, you can do this seated and that can help. But the key is to really make sure that your seat is below um, where your knees are. So you want your knees up above where your hips are. And that can relax that the hip flexors. A lot of times, even though it seems wild and doesn't really make sense to some people, is that our hip flexors can really affect how we breathe. Right? And this is a breathing practice. And so if our hip flexors are off, then our diaphragm can be off, and then our neck can be off. And these upper neck muscles can do a lot of work for uh, the diaphragm. We got these muscles here, right? And we've got a lot of small muscles here that help pull our uh, rib cage out of position. Keep twisting here. And so seated can really help to control that position. It can help us keep out of our low back. So feel free to try these three-way neck stretches seated too if you're having any type of issues with it. Now from here, we're just gonna fold forward. You're gonna put your hands down the front of your body, so on your front of your thighs, and you're just gonna roll forward very slowly. You're gonna exhale down, and then inhale up. Bring your hands up the back of your legs. Slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. And we're just gonna go through that again. Imagine you're sending energy into your body through your hands. Exhaling down. Placing your hands on your feet or above your ankles just for a moment. And then coming back up, sending that energy through the rest of your body. This is where we start to close our practice down. <clears throat> we start to massage our body and really harvest a lot of the energy that we've created. We haven't even done that much as far as movement. But when you're working with your breath, when you're working with your mind and intention, you don't need a ton of time. I highly recommend just even doing five minutes a day, even just starting with a basic body massage, massaging your ears, massaging your face, your head, your hands, and just starting there if you don't have a lot of time. Those areas are microcosms of the rest of the body. I'm just gonna do one more here. Fold forward. Remember, you're massing your breath with your movements. Exhaling down, inhaling back up. Bringing the hands to the heart center just for a moment. Just feel this energy. Feel all the energy that you've created through this practice. From here, you're gonna bring your hands to your ears and just massage those ears. We wanna try and massage the ears until they get warm. Maybe this doesn't seem like it's related to the head and neck, but whenever we can affect one part of our body system, we can affect the whole part of our system, every single last bit. And we wanna really keep our organs strong and that's another piece too sometimes back pain or back issues rather um, neck pain neck issues excuse me um, can and shoulders can be affected by just our organs some of the organs can get off and get affected and so we want to affect those organs we want to keep them healthy help them detox us help keep them strong and filtering the things out the waste products that we need to filtered. Now from here, after massaging your ears, we're going to move to your neck. And you're going to put your hand on the side of your neck, and we're just going to very gently massage. Just running from the base of the neck down, and just being very gentle. So I'm turned to my left. Just nice and easy, massaging that neck. Okay? Keep it nice and simple. Just a couple more here. You can play with your neck a little bit too. 
and then switch sides. So massage down the back. Almost done here. Just gonna work on the neck here. And then we'll close our session. So play with this, really see if you can kind of move the neck side to side. And relax. We'll close our practice with three breaths. A lot of times I start a practice with three breaths too. But this is just really nice to get your mind focused, to balance your breath, and to activate this low energy center, this low dantian. Start out with your hands at your lower dantian, about where your belly button is. Inhale up to about the top of your chest, and then exhale, gather that energy, condense, bring the elbows in towards the ground. Gather, gather, gather. You got two more here. Inhale back up. And exhale. Breathe out, breathe out, breathe out, breathe out. Gather and collect at that lower dantian. Inhale up, last one. And exhale. One last time, calling our intention in briefly and then closing our session down. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for checking out Breath Base. It's a pleasure to have you. I'll be bringing out more videos like this where I'm specifically working on parts of the body so that you can help relax some issues that you might have and just to build this energy, this qigong energy, this qi that you can learn how to gather it, that you can learn how to be in a great position with your body, how to just feel better overall. Qigong has changed my life and I hope it can help change yours. Thank you so much for checking us out. Bye-bye.